Hey, what's up guys? This is Carson. Welcome back to another video. That was a trailer, a teaser trailer that was a work in progress for a animation, a short animation that I was working on with a team of people. And I wanted to talk about that today, uh, just so all the work that we did do gets, a, gets shown off, uh, even though there's not a whole lot. Uh, we did do work on it, and um, I just wanted to talk about this project a little bit. So Glast is an idea that I came up with that it's it's ODST, it's set right after the events of ODST when Buck and everyone is uh, leaving and uh, the city starts really getting glassed. The idea behind all of it was to show the more darker, kind of gritty side of ODSTs because there's not really a lot of media that's um, out there about ODSTs and what they have to go through. There's a lot of stuff about Spartans. There's Halo 3 ODST, which focus on, it's only ODST stuff that it focuses on. And then um, other than that, end games and stuff, there's not really a whole lot of focus and emphasis on the ODSTs themselves. And the Spartans are like the main thing for most Halo games. Like Reach, they're all Spartans. Whenever you're playing the actual games, you're playing as a Spartan playing as uh, John, and um, there's not really a lot of focus on ODSTs and all the stuff that they have to go through, and uh, I thought that I would take it upon myself and get some people to help. Um, I don't have, I didn't have the money to pay anyone, so this was all just us working as Halo fans to make something, and everyone's too busy, and it just got to the point where it just kind of, it just died out, and um, we're not working on it anymore, and it's probably never going to be done. So I thought that I would talk about it and show you guys some of the stuff that we did. Um, I obviously, being a music and audio guy, I was the one working on all the sound effects, making them, um, doing the music, doing the the uh, atmosphere stuff, the ambience for the surroundings of the city. Um, I was doing a lot of the story stuff. Uh, I tried learning Blender a little bit to help with that side of stuff. And uh, I got a little bit done, but not a whole lot. Everyone else is a lot better than me. So that's why I got people to help. I got a couple Halo content creators um, into it, telling them about it, getting thoughts, uh, even helping. Uh, I got Halo Follower to uh, say yes to helping a little bit, doing some mocap stuff. And then uh, me and him had a falling out. So we didn't get to take advantage of that any. Um, Halo VFX, we didn't really have a falling out, but I have not talked to him in a very long time. And uh, he gave some opinions on the project because I came to him once or twice and asked him some stuff about the story because he's doing his own animation stuff um, that you guys might have seen already. I did some music stuff for episode two of Charity Falls. So if you know about Charity Falls, you know, you probably have heard my music, and if you know me, you've probably already watched it because I've given a bajillion shout-outs to Charity Falls and the music that I did. And there were a lot of ideas for the story. Um, we were going to open up on him waking up from being unconscious from the drop and uh, seeing Buck and all of them fly off in the distance. And we, I'm not going to talk about the whole middle part in between everything because I don't see the point in doing that because it's never going to happen. I thought I would just tell, talk about the ending and the beginning. But after 
they fly off in the distance. You see him running away, and it's going to flash forward to nighttime, and he was going to find some ammunition and stuff in a broken uh, vault, uh, because there's vaults in ODST that have weapons and stuff that you can get. And then how we were going to end it was we were going to have him essentially end up dying, um, almost escaping from the glassing, and um, the glassing beam destroying him, his body, and uh, the building that he was on top of. And we were going to have the shot be from one of the cameras and show a big bright light and then it just fade to white and then it would be over essentially and that's kind of the thoughts we had going behind how we'd start and end it and there's like I said there's a whole middle part obviously but I don't see the need in going into all and in going into all that and throughout this I've thrown up a couple pictures that um we were thinking about using and um all that different kind of stuff and I will play some of the sound effects that I was working on making. Um, it's the original sound effects, but I messed around with it a lot. So it sounds like it, but it also has its own uh, kind of unique feeling that's not full on rip from the, the games. It's its own kind of unique sound. And as far as the music goes, if you guys have heard my lo-fi song Secluded, it's an o it's an ODST inspired lo-fi song. The piano that you hear plays throughout basically the whole thing that was going to be the theme for this animation. Like I said, it's not happening, so I go I went ahead and I used that and I made that that lo-fi song, but that was going to be the original piano uh, melody type thing throughout the animation because in my opinion, it feels very ODST, and it feels true to um, the very isolated feel that ODST can bring, and there's even more isolation in the animation because it's just him. He doesn't have a team around him because everyone's left or everyone's dead at this point, so it was going to be a very good animation, and I, was, I put a lot of thought into it, but like I said, sadly, it is not happening. So I thought I would show you guys all this and talk about it so it just doesn't go to waste and you guys at least see what we did accomplish. I'm also going to play a couple of the voice lines uh, that we had. So we had um, some people uh, come in to do some voice recordings for grunts and brutes and stuff. And I will have those play now. Just still! Place the charge before I lose my grip! Stand back! Let it do the prophet's work! It'll explode if any human gets too close! Stay here, hold him close! The pack will feast on you! That's really all I got for this video. Again, if you guys watched this video and you were excited watching this, seeing all this stuff, I'm sorry, that's not happening. I just don't have money to pay people to actually carry it out and everyone else is busy that was working on the project or they're not working on it anymore so there's really no point in trying to continue this because it is in fact dead but thank you guys for watching and have a good day